Okay. Oh, that took me a bit after much trouble of getting things to work. Of course, my uh, cable for the uh, the Xbox controller itself isn't working, so I have to take the cable out of the Switch controller and plug it into the Xbox controller since it's the same type of brand. Uh, anyways, why do I get the feeling that Satana's gonna beat Scarlet Witch? So yeah, this is another prediction video, so uh, sorry for that weird fucking start as I kept fighting with it. I'll probably just edit out the whole weird start. Uh, anyway, why do I get the feeling that Satana might win? Well, let me just put it like this. Marvel vs. DC matchups are rather... peculiar. <laughs> so, knowing that they're going post-crisis, and post Flashpoint, we'll have to look at Satana with post Crisis and Flashpoint, and since we all know how broken the characters can fucking get. In terms of DC Comics, but then again, DC Comics already had its first loss, so that being Harley Quinn against Jinx. So, get ready for me for another niche fucking attempt at figuring stuff out, and... Of course, Marvel Cinematic Universe Scarlet Witch is different from comic book Scarlet Witch. Oh, so, we're gonna have to... try our best to rely on So yeah, uh, anyways, so we're gonna, for the sake of our madness, we're gonna go by the, the Marvel comic books for, uh, Scarlet Witch, and, I mean, to be fair, Chaos Magic is similar in both MCU and in the comics, but we're going by comic book Wanda Maximoff, aka Scarlet Witch. And for the sake of our madness, we will go by post-crisis and post-flashpoint for the, all that. DCAU, Young Justice, Justice League Action, DC Superhero Girls. I don't know why they included that, and she was only in one Injustice game, unfortunately. Uh, so... I know she was in Injustice 2, but I think that was like a cameo background character or some shit. I don't know. Anyways, so... She's got... So let's start off with Scarlet Witch. That way, we're not confusing ourselves. So... So what's her general powers? Reality warping, probability manipulation, magic chaos manipulation, flight, sleep manipulation... Extrasensory perception, disease manipulation, magnetism manipulation, of uh, course, uh, summoning, telepathy, portal creation, fusionism, clairvoyance, resistance to time stop, and mind manipulation. I could be wrong. Again, I could be wrong. Uh, and freaking Scarlet Witch might win, but who the hell knows? To be honest, I really don't know, and I, like I said, I could be wrong on this. 
attack potency, large iron level, all the way up to multiversal plus level, possibly low complex multiverse level. Multiverse level, multiverse level, it's just basically multiverse level. Uh, she's faster than light, could fight Thor and keep up with him. In terms of combat speed, she can, is massively faster than light. Uh, lifting strength, unknown. Speed, striking strength, unknown. Unknown physically. At least art. Island levels with force fields. Well, up to multiverse level. So, yeah, she's battled Phoenix. Powered Namor. Namor, sorry. Uh, I'm not, I'm not really in tune for this, but I will say this. Uh, intelligence, gifted, she's very talented sorceress, has thought about that Doctor Strange, has been trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat by Cable. Ah. Current, and currently teaches at the Strange Academy, teaching various magic related topics she had learned from by herself, from Agatha Harkness and Doctor Strange, such as elements of chaos magic. Okay, so she has very powerful intelligence. And range is 10 kilometers. Tens of kilometers, normally multiversal with preparation. Multiversal, possibly a little complex multiversal. I'm going by versus wiki for this. Since this is, this is one of those ones where I could get easily proven wrong. But, yeah, and that's all the, uh... Stats. We're just going by basic stats and everything. Now on to MCU. It's pretty much. Uh... Oh, sorry. MCU is a little different. It's like mountain level in terms of uh. MCU, but MCU is totally different. So we're not going by that. Anyways, now on to Satana. Ugh. Satana is an interesting, uh, thing. I had to adjust my mic. Uh, let's see here. So, power and stats, likely 9B up to 4B, possibly higher. This is, okay, so we're starting with point, post flashpoint, sorry. Let's, let's start with post crisis. So, uh, post crisis, she's 9C, 5A, 9C physically and 5A with magic. She's... Attack potency street to large planet level, supersonic to hypersonic, and also unknown flight speed. Lifting strength is similar to an athletic human. Striking strength is street class. Street level durability up to solar system level. At least gifted in terms of intelligence. Her standard equipment is obviously a magic wand. Uh, Satana is one of the most skilled magicians in the world, past the understanding of the occult and mystic skills, hand-to-hand combat. Basically just a human, depends on barriers and shields to defend herself. Beats. Okay, so, in terms of DC characters, she's defeated the Sparrow, Lobo, and Mary Marvel. Uh, I don't think there was anything for, uh, Scarlet Witch in terms of anything that she's fought, but... Yeah, and stamina is very high. She's just basically a solar system level, so I could get easily proven wrong. But this is this is just post crisis. Now we're going up to post flashpoint. So nine B up, at least a four B, possibly higher with magic. So, attack potency, wall level, solar system level, possibly higher, supersonic and hypersonic speed, massively faster than light, so this is, this is around the time of flat post flashpoint. She's got superhuman lifting strength, she threw John Constantine against the wall hard enough to crack it, striking strength is wall class, wall level up to at least solar system level, possibly higher with magic shields. She's peak human stamina, 
Tana's willpower and resistance are so high that after Eclipse have made her mouth disappear, she could cut it open again to cast a spell without hesitation. Could routinely fight a long, for long periods of time even after suffering damage. She's got standard be melee range, at least up to at least low multiversal of magic, although it varies between spells. Sometimes she doesn't use. So this is where she, this the wand is a little bit uh questionable because she doesn't always use the wand. So that's also her standard equipment. So she's a genius. She's skilled at the highly dangerous backwards magic, which imposes her will over reality through backwards words. She has possibly a centuries of or millennia of practice in her craft, has proven to be far more powerful spellcaster than other gifted magicians with powerful magic beasts such as John Constantine or the Phantom Stranger. Beyond her wide array of magic abilities, Tana is also a very good illusionist, being able to easily escape straight jackets and entertain crowds. She used to be insecure and afraid of her own powers, these are her weaknesses by the way. Although she is typically more confident nowadays, her backwards magic cannot be used if she is unable to speak, although she can cast other kinds of magic silently. So yeah, it's... So yeah, it's... It's gonna be one of those situations, so again, I don't... I have that weird feeling that Satana might actually overcome Scarlet Witch. Because, knowing me and my luck of DC and Marvel characters, it's probably gonna end badly. Ugh, it's probably gonna end badly, so... And... Again, I honestly don't know who's gonna win. I really want Satana to win, but I also want Scarlet Witch to win, because I'm a big comic book geek or whatever, but it, problem is, I has this strange feeling that Satana might actually overcome Scarlet Witch. Maybe, just by a small bit. Unless they actually have a Marvel character beat a DC character again, this will be like the, this would make it the second DC fight against a Marvel character to have a DC character lose, from what I understand. Actually, no, take that back. There was one with a classic rogue from the X-Men against Wonder Woman, and I forgot about that one. So, yeah, there's there's your second loss, technically. So, unless I, again, I I don't keep track of all the uh, Marvel vs. DC matchups in terms of wins and losses between those two comic book companies, but if anyone wants to correct me in the comments, they could do that, but as for... The fight itself, I don't know what it's gonna be. It could be sprite, it could be hand-drawn, for all I know. It's probably gonna be hand-drawn because of all the reality-bending bullshit. Uh... It could be 3D. It could be 3D. I don't know if it's gonna be 3D. Uh, anyways, uh, I will... That's, that's pretty much all that I got in terms of, uh... Thoughts in terms of this fight. Uh, I'm not really that this is the next matchup. I was hoping it would be like a later episode down the road. But what can you do? Like, it's, it's not my show technically, so... Because I don't make death battle. I just react to them and enjoy them. Anyway. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are about this fight. Uh, I honestly don't know who's gonna win. I think... Satana might actually overcome Scarlet Witch unless I get Perm Ron, but if she does, then that would be my first loss of this season. Maybe. Just by a small bit. Because I know how- usually when it comes to Marvel and DC matchups, I usually lose them all the time. So... Or sometimes win them. But anyway, let me know what you thought in the comments below when this goes up. I will be back later with uh, a Smash Brothers. 64 remix thing where I'm playing a bunch of random run throughs as different characters. So, yay, get ready for that one. Anyways, till then, Cap Headfoot signing off. I'll see you in the next stream.